Welcome to Lifestyle Matters. I'm Marilyn Moore. The 32nd annual Fresno Home and Garden Show is happening March 2nd through the 4th, and we're featuring some vendors, one being California Tiny House. And we have one of the owners here, Nick. Nick, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You now, California Tiny House, tell me more about it. So what we are is we're a family-owned and operated tiny house builder. Um, 99% of what we do is actually custom tiny homes. So we not only do all the designs in-house, but all the building is done in-house. Um, nothing's really subbed out. And we let customers basically design their tiny dream homes. Now, how did you get into this? Because you're certainly not tiny. <laughs> no, uh, no. My family and I are, are definitely not tiny. And that's actually what kind of led us to do the different designs that we do. We make tiny houses that are more comfortable for taller people. You know, real size, regular size doors, staircases that you can actually stand in, bigger closets bigger beds. You know, a lot of the houses that we do have California king size beds. So um, basically that's how we did our design is to start out, you know, using us as kind of the, the, the median, you know, height. Um, and the way, the way we started this is we saw a need for additional zoning in California. And being that they're on wheels, you don't have to pay property taxes. You can put them in a little bit more areas. We actually have a really cool bill that passed in Fresno City in 2016 that allows people to use these in their backyards as like a backyard cottage or an accessory dwelling unit. So they can use them as a rental or they can use them as a, like a mother-in-law suite. What a good idea. Now talk a little bit to me about what we're standing in right now. So we are standing in what's called a park model. So this is a 10 foot wide by 24 foot unit and the one we're in now is actually for three kids. The oldest is 14, and um, it has three bedrooms. So it has a downstairs bedroom on the ground level, then a staircase up to a full-size loft for their daughter, and then on the opposite side of the house, it has a ladder access loft for their youngest son. A small kitchenette, a split bathroom right through there, and then a eight-foot sofa. So their parents actually bought this big teepee and and they're out living off the land and it's pretty cool Jeez, lucky kids tiny but very spacious yeah. now and this so this is the unfinished product and i know you're going to be bringing finished product to the show so why Correct. don't we go take a look at that yeah let's go take a look now we're standing in the almost completed tiny house that's going to be at the show how much longer do you think until this is going to be uh, finished um, this one will probably be done in a few days um, basically what we have left the floor is all completely covered just so it's protected but we have kitchen cabinets, we have some shelving to do, and then finishing touches, you know, smoke detectors, stuff like that. Now, how long does it actually take you to build one of these? Um, an average tiny house takes us about 20 work days. You know, sometimes, yes. yeah, sometimes less, sometimes more. It's because everything we do is custom, different projects take to have different time lengths. Now, what, what would you say people are buying these tiny houses for? They're living in them, they're renting them for their kids, like you had mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um... I'd say most of our clients actually live in them full time, but there are a portion that are commercial vehicles. Um, we also have people that use them as like an Airbnb for a second income. And then we also have just people who like have mother-in-law suites or something like that or vacation, like a second vacation home. Now, why do people just love these tiny houses? Um, well, they're extremely popular throughout the whole world. I think people are, are, are tired of these McMansions with no land around them. McMansion, I like that. That's smart. Now, this one obviously looks a bit different from the one we were standing in. So tell me more about this tiny house. Okay, yeah. So this is a, what you see as a typical tiny house. So it's eight and a half wide. This one's 24 feet long and has pretty much everything you need, much like a studio apartment. Um, you have a full kitchen across this back wall here. Right where we're standing is actually where the sofa sits. You have your TV across from that. Um, as you go back through the hallway... You'll see um, bathroom. So we've got a, a basically a barn door that slides across. So when it covers up the bathroom, it exposes an ex uh, additional closet that's for coats and stuff. And then once it covers the closet, it opens up a bathroom. It's got a standard flushing toilet, a full standing shower, a vanity, and a washer-dryer combo. Jeez, you could pack a lot in a tiny yeah. house. Yeah. And it even has an upstairs. Now, that's where, obviously, probably the bed's going to be. Correct, yeah. So the loft is the loft area is, is the bedroom. Now, what's neat about this, um, that's one of the biggest problems that clients have with loft bedrooms is that they're crawling up a ladder. They're crawling around on their hands and knees. And 
like I said before, it's doing our designs. We don't, we want to avoid that at all possible. We want to feel like a second story bedroom rather than, you know, a loft. And so what we have is we have a full closet that is just like your closet at home. We've got a area where you can sit and read or work on a laptop. The bed space up there is actually a California King. And then it has a built in bedside table and then space for another one on the other side. Awesome. Now, is this going to be just one of the houses you're going to be showcasing at this, the show? This will be the only house that we're showcasing at the show. Um, but we, we always invite people to come by the shop and see what we're building at the time. Because, like I said, everything's custom, so we'll always have different houses in here. Well, i got to say is recommend that you wear a sweatshirt to the shop because it is freezing in here. But <laughs> yes, <Nick's laughs> in the winter, it gets very cool. cold, yes. Uh, Nick's going to be at the Fresno Home and Garden Show March 2nd through the 4th at the Fresno Fairgrounds. You can hop online and get some discounts for those tickets. You're watching Lifestyle Matters. I'm Marilyn Moore.